Hello, this is T.H. Colhane for Solar Cities, and it's the end of August of 2011. I'd like to demonstrate the simplest way to get battery power for lighting a flashlight. Very useful if you happen to be in a small village or you're in a disaster situation and you need light. This is the typical 3 volt super bright white LED with a jewel thief circuit, and many people have shown how you can take a dead one and a half volt battery, dead meaning that it's down to about 0 0.9, 0 0.8, even 0 0.7 volts. I've even done it when it's down to half a volt. And it, with the Jewel Thief circuit, it lights the LED. So that's pretty well known now since the Jewel Thief circuit was invented or discovered in 1999 that you can use a ostensibly dead battery to light the circuit. But then I was working on the idea that we could use aluminum cans as the source of electricity because we knew that aluminum cans uh, or that aluminum oxidizes and produces a voltage of about 0.7 volts down to 0.5 volts and reasoned that if we could use a dead battery that was down to a half a volt and still using the jewel thief light the LED that we should be able to do it with an aluminum oxide reaction. Now of course we've discovered we don't need the whole can at all but merely the tab off the can. And so I'm calling this my tab torch. And the tab torch is basically a tab from an aluminum can, a piece of, well, it could be paper towel, but that doesn't last very long. So this is just a cleaning towel that has been uh, cut. So I'm taking a piece of cleaning towel. It lasts a little longer. And then the third piece is the paper clip and preferably a stainless steel paper clip so it will not be involved chemically in the reaction. And all that I will do is I will take the tab from the aluminum can and I will wrap it in the towel. So I'll just wrap that up and I'll hook the negative lead onto that. And then I will take the paper clip and I will put the paper clip, slip it on like this and hook the positive lead onto that. We see that the LED does not go on, of course, why would it? But now we're going to take some drain cleaner, which is 20% sodium hydroxide, and I'm going to pour a capful, Ooh. and then very carefully drip that onto here. And what we see is that uh, the 20% was too strong, but when we added some, some water and diluted it a little bit, then we get the chemical reaction that leads to the light going on. So you can see from here, now it's off, now it's on, now it's off, now it's on. And that's nice and bright. So there's a certain concentration that gives the light more brightness. And there we have it. So this is probably the simplest circuit that you could possibly imagine. Now, interestingly, the more paper clip we add, the brighter that the light gets. So when I put two paper clips on, I'm able to harvest more electrons, as you can see. And so, it is better to add more surface area for the cathode. So I'll put another paper clip on and another paper clip and get it a little bit brighter. So that's basically all there is to it. As you can see, 
it's just a metal tab. This is soaked in a little bit of sodium hydroxide uh, water solution with a bunch of paper clips on the outside. And it works perfectly well. As you can see, the aluminum is the anode. It's very slippery because of the sodium hydroxide. And there it goes. Now it's on. So, that's, uh, that's how we make the simplest of all aluminum oxide batteries. And so there you have it, the probably simplest battery that the world has ever seen. Just paper clips, piece of cloth towel, and a beer tab, or soda can tab. And that produces the requisite voltage for the jewel thief to be able to light the LED. It's a very interesting home experiment. Please do try this at home. Be careful with the sodium hydroxide that you not splash it in your eyes. And blind yourself and that you don't burn your skin or your clothes but uh, you know it does get that soapy feeling when you get it on your fingers just wash your hands but that's all there is to it it's, um, once again we can disassemble this circuit to show you how simple this is so it's basically a beer tab that's what we're doing and we're taking a piece of cloth that is soaked in sodium hydroxide solution and we're wrapping the beer tab and then we're taking a bunch of paper clips and we are clipping them on and as you can see the LED goes on so, can't get much simpler than that. There's the LED glowing. And there's the circuit. A little bit of hydrogen evolving there. Paper clips. And of course, We put water on it. Can pour a little bit of water because we don't really need it to be bubbling so much. Ooh, it flutters. So we'll put a little bit more sodium hydroxide on it, and there it goes. Maybe that's not too much. Add a little water, and it begins to glow again. There we are. Nice glowing LED from what is basically no more than. See if we take it apart what this is made of. It's just the battery here is just a tab of a soda can for the anode, and then we wrap it in a towel.
and the more paper clips we put, the more surface area, and so we get a brighter glowing LED. more paper clips to get more surface area, then we get a much brighter glow. Simplest battery there is. To test how long the circuit will last, we put it in a Tupperware container with a sponge and some water, and that will hopefully keep the electrolyte going. We can probably put a little bit more water in. And then we have the ability to keep it wet, to keep the circuit going. Having a back, black background, we can see the light a little better. See how long the piece of aluminum lasts. As you can see, this is the circuit here. It's just a